Manic Pixie Danny and welcome back to Gang Studios. For today's episode of Creator Chats, today we are with Nami. Yes, me. That's me. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us with our podcast interviews. I'm so excited to talk about the stuff. We're going to talk about especially your story, how you started with your social media career and all that. I'm so thrilled to have you here. <laughs> all right. Nothing much to know about me. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I'm not that good at English, so I judge my English. <laughs> we will judge. <laughs> yeah, to the, uh, yeah, yeah. We are <laughs> that to the audience, the the people who's watching this though so. i'm sure they'll understand and we can always put subtitles care of our lovely editor jin <laughs> <laughs> more subs <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let's begin why don't you tell us more about yourself and what you do okay uh my name is sammy aluma and i'm half japanese half filipino I'm just making sure, guys, I'm half Japanese because a lot of people mistaking me for being like Korean or Chinese. So I'm half Japanese and I'm forever 17 years old, turning 18 years old in the next 10 years. And I do streaming stuff. Um, I'm a YouTuber, TikToker, Instagrammer. Not a Twitter though. <laughs> yeah. So. Basically it's all around. Yeah. Yeah. True. I recently started Twitch then but yeah. I'm on Twitch, so what's that? Twitcher? What do you <laughs> A Twitch streamer? <laughs> uh Twitch streamer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think Twitcher is best. <laughs> let's it's let's good. do that. Twitcher. Twitcher. <laughs> a a person who <laughs> <with> twitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check out our streams on Twitch then. <laughs> yes, so please. Speaking please. of that, which platform, since you do so much content creation on different platforms, which one's your favorite platform to make content for? Which platform? It's hard because it really depends on the content that you're mm -hmm. making. So, but um, right now, I think Facebook. That would be Facebook since I got a lot of engagements in there. Like a lot of people, you know, comments or uh, watch my videos and stream. So I think that would be Facebook. But but do you like you streamed before on Facebook, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Was was what was the reasoning behind the switch to Twitch? Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> ah, oh yeah, that's true. You're right. Right. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, I mean I didn't like really. Twitch because I still do uh, Facebook streaming and I just added Twitch to my streaming since on Facebook when you play like PC games for example like I I played uh, Resident Evil there it was like the engagement was not that good like the viewers like they didn't like it because they more um, appreciate like Mobile Legends like other games so since I still want to play Resident Evil, why not do it on Twitch since a lot of people like play PC games in there and I might found a new people in there that will be interested on what they play like at PC games. That's a really good point. So in a yeah. sense, you can still continue making content which you enjoy, but yeah. at the same time still make your fans happy. That's that's yeah. so smart. I like yeah, that. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So in that sense, do you prefer, like, is there a platform you prefer? Is there any difference between these platforms? Because I hear all the time newbies or those who want to start streaming, they always ask, which platform should I stream on? Which one? Which one? Well, it depends on what type of uh, streamer you are, actually. If you're like me, you can just do a lot of um stream on the different platform because i also stream on tiktok like oh, wow. i cross post my facebook live to tiktok so like literally i'm They're I, everywhere yeah forever <laughs> like i just want to try stuff 
And if you're more on the PC games, I think Twitch will be better for you, depending on what the content you make. Because if you want to sell stuff, and then that's TikTok. That's for TikTok. You have to kind of study first what you want to do. Hindi pwedeng kung saan mo lang feel because all the cool people are here. Parang <laughs> So it really depends on what you're doing. That's a really good point. And yeah. I really like how you're, you're just like I said a while ago, how you're everywhere. You're in every single platform. It makes, I mean, what, you know the saying where they say, um, put your eggs in different baskets. Uh -huh. <laughs> they say that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the egg basket metaphor like you you really will, will have higher chances of discoverability of growing your fan base especially yeah. if like you have all that creativity and energy to be on all of these platforms so that's a really good way to tackle this so yeah i wanted to ask you if you were to if you were to start your content creation career today would you do anything else different or what would your strategy be no, 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 no. Actually, I thought that before. Like, if I'm going to make a new account or what, I think it's either I'm going to hide my identity or on that platform, or I would make myself a very funny looking girl that can do a lot of, you know, funny content. Because I thought about this before. Do you watch Food Wars? I, I'm familiar, yeah. <laughs> You're familiar. Because... There, this main character called Soma and his father, it, they're, uh, they basically, they're the best, like, chef, cook, the cook on the anime. So they make this really ugly taste cook, cooking, and they would let them taste it to the people. Like, they're good at, I uh, know, making, like, a new recipe, but they would do that too. That's the way they release their, like, stress. Because it's hard to make, you know, new, new recipe. And it's either you're going to make a new recipe or upgrade that recipe. So it's not always the same. So for me, I want to do that. Like the ugly taste one. I hope that you guys get it. But it's like, I want to do this content. But if I'm going to do it now, it's going to be weird. Mm. So if I'm going to make a new stuff, I would do that. Like... I would really do like ugly stuff, really ugly stuff, but funny. Yeah. No. <laughs> I actually like that. Right? Well, right. Comedic side or whatever side that you can show to others. Mm -hmm. I can imagine what you're trying to say. I mean, don't worry. You're actually good at trying to share your ideas with us. Don't worry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I could imagine what you're trying to say, even if it's not cooking, you know, how like yeah, these yeah, yeah. big, the biggest YouTubers like PewDiePie, yeah. they do the silliest, most yeah, 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 yeah. Vedic things that yeah. kind of look dumb sometimes, but it's <laughs> so entertaining. It's so yeah. funny, right? It's super funny. Yeah. And they're probably really having fun too. Yeah, that's what I want to do. But it's hard to make it in, on this image, you know, because you already have your image already. That if you do suddenly this stuff, people would just be weirded out. Or what are you doing? It's like, they're going to judge you, really. <laughs> so Yeah, it I, happens. Yeah. It's like Miranda Sings, pala. You know Miranda Sings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah th That's I a good example. She's like a two personality, mm. you know, that... I want to do that. Like, I would really want to be like Miranda Sings. Nah, different kind of Miranda Sings. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe one of these days you'll see Nami yeah. with these different personalities. <laughs> but you entertaining. No. <laughs> Surprised. That's me. Yeah. Because I will be this different type of girl. You mentioned something like being judged. So I know this wasn't in my questions, but it made me think about it and maybe it would help our audience. Do you ever get hate comments? And how do you deal with those hate comments? Actually, I'm kind of uh, blessed with my platform since there's not much of a hater in there. Like, it's a few of them. There's a few of them. But which is funny when you read their comments. When they someone um comment like, you're ugly. You're super ugly. 
And then I would look at them. Okay, let's check your profile picture then. Oh my gosh, it's like a middle-aged man. Oh no. Saying ugly to a forever 17 years old. It's nonsense. It just make it ano na lang, um, laugh about it. You know, don't get it to your head. Because it's just waste of time. We can't do anything about it because they're that's their opinion. That's what they want to do. That's how they release their stress. Unfortunately. Yeah, right? Then let them bleed. Kill him with kindness. Selena Gomez. Oh, wow. <laughs> Say Are you Selena Gomez. Team yeah. Selena. <laughs> yeah, Team Selena. And it's okay. <laughs> All right. I like that. I mean, it feels similar to your previous answer a while ago. Like, mm -hmm. you want something that's funny, that's comedic. But at the same yeah. time, the way you can handle hate comments or hate in general is also by laughing. Yeah. Laughter is the best medicine. Exactly. like that. I really like where this conversation is going. So, um, apart from, like, starting from scratch, do you have, like, a secret to growing or how you exploded on social media maybe you'd like to share? I don't know if I'm the one who's, who should say this or what, because I'm still growing. I'm still that small content creator who's still growing. I would just say just post, upload, upload your content. If you're going to wait for that moment and, ne and then not posting anything, not uh, doing something, there's no growth going to happen to you. So for me, just post and post and post anything you'd like to post. You can just copy someone and then make upgrade a bit. You know, just credit that if you don't know what to post. You know, it's hard to make content na original. I just mentioned you can copy others. Just credit them because that's the ano, important stuff. Just credit them because they're the original. If you're gonna claim that originality, that's not good. <laughs> but yeah, just helping. You know, if you're uh, if you don't know what to do, don't forget to explore stuff. Bala. I do explore stuff way back pa. Uh, I like doing a lot of things very, like, it's not just steady in one thing. Because I don't know what's best for me. And I don't know what's gonna click. For example, I have this uh, content video that I uploaded and it clicked. So it's a cooking video. So I never done it before. I just started it and it clicked. So right now, I keep uploading and uploading and uploading the same thing. Just cooking, cooking, cooking. Because th that's what they like a lot. It's so refreshing. It's so refreshing, to be honest, to hear that from a creator. Because a lot of people say that you should stick with your niche. That you should mm -hmm. keep doing what you're doing. Be consistent. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no one actually says that you should try different things because you never know where you're meant to be. And I see your cooking videos. They're so cute. They're so entertaining. Like, <laughs> the way you deliver things. Like, and I mean, anyone can make cooking videos, right? But the way you interject your personality, it's yeah. so nami. I love that. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to say. But <laughs> th that didn't come to me. I mean, no, I'm here to help. <laughs> Yeah, thank the you. host, the host just helps the interviewee. Yeah. <laughs> and but so this happy. is about your story. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really happy because I couldn't express my, you know, since English is my third language, so it's really hard for me to express your my feelings or my thoughts through English. But I, I was Understand. glad. Thank you. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Apart from like trying to be creative with different things or like, you know, trying experimenting different kinds of content, what about like the latest trends or challenges? Are you updated with those? And how do you stay updated? Because I feel like my age shows sometimes when I don't know the latest tr oh, yeah. trends. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get that. Oh my gosh. But to stay on trend, uh, TikTok really is the answer because all of the stuff is in there like news uh, latest uh, fashion, dance music, all of that stuff is in there so you just need to scroll and scroll on TikTok and you would see 
what's trending i yeah i agree with that because sometimes some of the trends really start in tiktok and then later you're gonna see them on instagram and youtube shorts it's like but tiktok's always usually first you know what i mean yeah 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 it's true it's always tiktok who's i know like they're the one who's creating it actually mm. from there a lot of people bring it to the other platform so that it's now trending on the other platform for me so it's always tiktok who's the ideas yeah i think what we can get from this also is besides creating content you have to be on the platform so you know what's happening right yeah, true. you wouldn't know you would, yeah, really true. wouldn't know mm-hmm. you need to explore there keyword for today funny and explore <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too. <laughs> so now we talked about a lot of content creation and making. Let's talk about this platform, Gank, which helps content creators actually earn from what they love doing. So I know you've been on Gank for a while now. Can we ask what's your favorite feature on the platform? My favorite feature, that would be... I'm gonna sound like I'm begging for money or whatnot. It's not ano. Uh, for me, that would be the ano. Uh, the exclu- exclusivity exclusivity of your content your photos so there's some photos kasi ito example on facebook if you post multiple photos there they change the engagement to like they lower it if you post like a one photo or two photo a lot of people will like it see it and engage to it but if you post a lot of photos, the engagement is really bad. It's like on Gank, you can post a lot of your creations. The things that you work hard. Because I do photo shoot as well, like by myself. So if I post it on Facebook, people won't see it like all. Because it, it's hard to pick then, right? It's hard to pick the perfect picture, you know? So you want to pick all the pictures, the multiple pictures. It's better when you post it on Gang because you're they'll see it at the same time. It's exclusive. At the same time, you can <laughs> earn money as well. Oh my gosh, I don't want to sell my I know, greedy like I know more on money stuff. It's just for cosplayer example for the cosplayer stuff. Their materials are not uh free, you know. They would need donation. They would need to, I know, make it the best cosplay photo album by on. I don't know what they, I know what they call <laughs> I think cosplay photo sets. Yeah. Yeah, photo sets, diba? There's stuff for me, uh, there's stuff that I'm shy to post on like other platform. I feel like when I post it on Gank, I have this confidence that I can show it because it's exclusive, like, I know, limited people lang would see it, you know, if they're willing to a lot of people, but yeah. So but he didn't say yung content mo beginawa. Oh but it's not rated the they might think it like a, a very <laughs> sexy stuff. No, it's not about that. You know, there are stuff that I want to post online. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Um I was thinking about it also because I mean that's the misconception. That's why we made a video before about misconceptions about gang it's not always about nsfw in fact there's a lot of value and content that you can still share to your fans who want to get to know you more and like what you mentioned if you're shy if you if you don't really want the entire universe to see it yeah maybe maybe yeah it's a really good way to to overcome these aspects so i really like that point of view yeah. Yes, yeah. Awesome. And I love how Gank is kind of normalizing monetization of content. It's mm-hmm. nothing to be ashamed of because it's quite normal, actually. Mm-hmm. A lot of YouTubers, even before a lot of these profile platforms, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, appeared out of nowhere. It's, it's really, for example, supporting them with their merch or their memberships, etc. And that's really the best way you can support a creator because mm-hmm. ads that doesn't really <laughs> that doesn't really give 
um, much value back to the creator. So if you want to be part of the lives of these your favorite creators, get to know them a little bit more, even have a piece of them through merchandise or artwork. That's like the best thing in the world. So that's true. don't be worried about greed. It's not about greed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just worried. <laughs> <laughs> we understand you <laughs> so yeah i noticed your memberships are very active and i just wanted to ask like for example those creators who want to start memberships as well on gank how do you maintain these memberships and how do how do you convince fans to join your memberships actually i'm not that type of pressuring you know my fans to subscribe to me i promote them of course on the um on my other platforms because they have their this choices you know if they would want to see it and then they should subscribe or they they would subscribe to me so i'm not that i know super you know like hey hey come on subscribe to me <laughs> come on like uh, so i'm just a very neutralized if you want to you can i have this content right here you know but uh to make it grow yeah you need to promote it to other platforms, especially to the platform that you have a lot of engagements. Or you can under the like tease. You know, you post this one photo, and then if you want to see more, you can just promote your gun there. Wow! I hope you you guys are taking notes. <laughs> promote and tease. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for sharing all these tips. Last but not the least, I want to ask, do you have possible upcoming projects maybe? My streaming. Yeah, I just started on Twitch. So I would love to receive your support in there. Please keep following me because right now I don't have the project that I got. So if you want to be updated to me, uh, you could just follow me to all of my social medias. I'm active to all of them. Yeah. And make sure on my gank. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Subscribe to this. <laughs> oh Please. If you just, if you're curious, you know, you can just check me on gank. That's it, actually. Follow me around. Yes. Not in real life. Sure follow, not in real life. Yeah. In social media. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you follow Nami on all social media. Do you have a schedule for your your Twitch streams? Uh, right now, it's first day so watch watch okay we have twitch follow me follow me if you don't have a twitch make one <laughs> yep. so you can watch nami <laughs> all right so we'll stay tuned for nami's future content i hope you follow her so you can get inspired by the different variations of content she makes which is so cool and make sure you follow her on gang to support her content creator journey as well so yeah, would you like to give your fans a shout out? Um, shout out to all my fans, Nami Piglets. Thank you so much for your support all the time to me. And for sure, ngayon nila ako narinig na nagdadaritso English. Don't judge. Very young. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you once again for joining us and we hope you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you can stay tuned for future episodes. We'll see you again next time. Bye!